Hello everyone, Basicol here. Hope you're all doing well and welcome back to round number nine of our Mitsubishi Manufacturer Series where we are aiming to finish first place in the Manufacturer Series. Now this is a top split race, uh, split free I believe, but just keep an eye on this guy here. Uh, is it Kipso G29? It says only 269 points available. And my friends, he is going to regret saying that. Just keep watching, and I assure you, he's going to watch. Uh, he's just going to hate the fact that he said that. Anyways, uh, start to get qualified underway, and make the biggest yeet over a curb you've ever seen in your life. And that actually puts us right behind uh, Eerie. So, Rory Alexander, another YouTuber, um, absolutely brilliant. If you don't know who he is, please check out his channel. He is uh, fantastic. But anyways, um, well out of the slipstream already, but I'm going to use this as well, almost like a a banker time for this qualifying session so just breaking after the cones there keeping it a little bit tighter than the people in front of us uh, as we know the evo is very evil <laughs> the evo is very good on the traction so uh, coming out of those corners is nice and easy again taking too much of the inside curb there and that is going to cost us just going to iron out these silly little mistakes and then we go hitting it once more just trying to maximize uh, the, the limits of the track really uh, without losing too much time and silly things like that they will cost me but I'm sure in my second run I'll be able to iron those things out and just crack off from there. First run just more to get you know get a feel for the track get a feel for how the car is going to handle the car always handles differently to how it handles in practice because you've got tyre wear to consider and you've also got fuel you've got traffic you've got slipstream loads of little different things come into effect they go for the corkscrew actually really well we managed to catch up with Rory quite a bit there, so I was quite pleased. Really sharp um, end exit of that corner as well. Really, really nice. Going through here, swooping right-hander, uh, lots of camber, breaking again once after the cones, and then over to the left-hand side, avoiding the sausage curbs, keeping it in second gear, half throttle, powering out up to third. And then we just go all the way across the line, manage to catch up with Rory, get a little bit of slipstream, and we set a 120. But I know we can go a lot quicker than that if we put a little bit more practice in it. So I decided instead of going for another run, I'm going to exit and I'm just going to go again. So this is my second attempt and actually it was my fastest. So we are now stuck behind the um, NSX, the Honda NSX. And we want that slipstream but as always if you get caught up and you actually go too quick compared to the guy in front of you, you will get... Um, well, you'll slow down because <laughs> you've got nowhere to go and you don't want to ruin this guy's lap. So straight away, even though I started a you know, good two, three car lengths behind this guy, I managed to catch up with him straight away. So it's a good first sector. Uh, as you can see, I'm already, what, was that four temps up, I believe, then? It's like ridiculous. That was, that was insane. So yeah, a lot, of, a lot of time found there. So if we can keep doing that, we'll, we'll get pole position. But I'm not sure there's quite four temps every sector in this. That would be... Um, quite something but so far so good nice and smooth no issues whatsoever going through here going for this left kink again the camber can set the car off balance and it can cause you some major issues but the Evo taking that like an absolute dream anyways breaking way after the cones as the kind of hill goes up uh, that's when you break again the Evo's brakes come in clutch so good on this car uh, currently three temps up now so we've lost a little bit of time uh, and again, I think we've just got a little bit held up in the corkscrew. Uh, Breaking as the kerb starts to form on the left-hand side. You notice I haven't actually hit any of the sausage uh, kerbs on the outer side this time. So much, much smoother. Uh, nice exit there as well. So we're going to cross the line here with the help of the slipstream in the guy in P20 in the uh, NSX. And we set a 120.3, which is nearly half a second quicker than my personal best. So that's a pretty quick time. Now, I did decide to go again, but I just hit the sand, and then hit the sand again, and I was just like, nah, lap over. Game over, boys and girls. No point, I was not improving. So I slowed down, pulled over to the side, um, I just quit the lap completely. Uh, and as we go ahead, we actually qualify in P7. P7, so not too bad. Plenty of points on offer here today. If we want to keep our first place in the Manufacturer Series for Mitsubishi, we know we need to get around 220 plus. That's kind of the minimum of what we need so we jump straight into the race then brake bias to the rear for this race you have to use the soft and the medium tires we don't have to use the softs but you'd be silly not to only the mediums are mandatory so three two one as the planes go overhead we are underway in this race and this is going to be a little bit of a cork in this one really really enjoyed this race it was a real grind 25 laps around this place is not easy it's not easy at all but we'll get underway um first things first because i haven't done this race yet I wasn't too sure on the fuel. So as you can see, I've got my fuel gauge open at the moment. 
because I'm not quite sure if I'm going to have enough fuel um, to get to the end of the race or if I need to do any fuel saving whatsoever. You can see some guys have gone off here, some sort of contact, so that's one position for me there. Is the guy in Citroen going to go up the inside of the Honda? No, he does not. So we're up one place, that's not too bad. Again, in these top split lobbies, guys, any position you can gain is an absolute bonus. It's so difficult. We see the, the NSX goes horribly wide there, absolutely horribly wide. And that is another position gain. So up to P5 now. So on the back of this Frenchman uh, Z-Fix uh, wheeling, I don't know, mate, Tolib. Sorry if I've absolutely butchered your name. I'm sure I have. But always, as always, first lap, you know, your tyres aren't up to temperature, your car's a bit heavy. And yep. Yep. Penalty. Thoroughly deserved. I went into the back of him. You know, if it was real life, we both would have had damage. And our races probably would have been over. So, you know, a one second penalty, I'll take it. We dropped one position. It's a little bit, you know, I, wouldn't, I don't want to say harsh, but it's a bit disheartening, the fact that I got a second penalty for it. But I have to hold my hands up. That was my fault. I should have um, should have adjusted my brake a little bit better. And we could have... We could have stayed in fifth place, but it doesn't matter. We're going to have a cracking battle now with the Brit in the Audi R8. Now, he does have a very, very cool livery. I will admit that. It is um, like the old DTM livery, isn't it, with the um, four red rings, which looks really, really cool. Uh, and we're just going to have to try and get past him uh, and get on the battle of um, P4 there, because he looks like he's chasing P4. I don't know where the hell that guy came from. <laughs> he just went inside of me, uninvited. That's not, on, that's not allowed. I think that's against the law. Uh, and then he just left, which was pretty rude. Um, yeah, didn't even leave a thank you note or anything, but there you go. Um, anyways, to the first corner. Again, keeping it nice and tight. Uh, I'm on the brakes as, as early as everyone else, um, but because of the Evo's brakes, I actually managed to make the corner uh, a lot easier and I'm a lot tighter going into the apex. Same here, again, just avoiding those sausage curbs. They're an absolute killer. We go through the first sector there, we're actually purple. So we've absolutely nailed it. Now the guy in the Audi R8, you can see he goes a little bit wide, he goes on the gravel. So I'm going to look for something, I'm just going to look on the inside, just to let him know I'm there. Just unsettle the car, I do hit the sausage curb and you can see um, it does just kind of lift the car up. And I do lose a tenth or so, but it doesn't matter. Breaking off the shadow, flicking over to the left hand side, incredibly hard corner to get right. Such, honestly, so hard. Um, to be fast and consistent through there constantly. Um, it really is a test of mental strength, I'm telling you. Anyways, the guy in the Audi R8, he's all over the place through the corkscrew. There's rear end, uh, not settled whatsoever. And I'm still doing personal best, smashing it through that left-hander just to avoid the sausage curb. Um, I hit the gravel ever so slightly. Doesn't settle me a little bit, but it doesn't matter. I've still got the slipstream of the guy head, and we're still all groovy. Anyways, going through this last corner again, you can see he's just really struggling to get the rear end of that Audi under control. Now, I do break to left to try and get out of the slipstream and maybe go up the inside, but he just manages to block it off and I've got nowhere to go. So, cross the line, a 121.7. But I know I can go a lot quicker now. I'll go for a dive bomb on the inside there. It does leave the space. Um, and this is really nice, clean racing, to be fair. No contact whatsoever. He manages to keep the position. Fair play to him. I'm going to have to find another avenue to get past him and see what we can do. Nice little replay uh, shot there, quite like that. Anyways, <laughs> um, still chasing this guy down. Again, could we potentially look for a move on the inside here on the left hand? I'm going to look for it again. I'm going to break that a little bit later this time. Again, just a little bit of contact. I left my nose in there, but I just don't think he saw me. A little bit of contact, but I think that's fair. Going to go through this left hand here. I've never seen two people go through here before, but amazingly, with this guy, we actually do. So there's enough respect between both of us there to go through that corner without causing any issues whatsoever. It does slow us up a lot though, I will say that. Anyways, he goes all sorts of wide here and he just gets a load of understeer and he just slaps me uh, with his rear end and unfortunately uh, lose two positions to that, which is annoying. He just got a slap of oversteer and then understeer and he just, his rear end stepped out, hit the side of my uh, beloved Mitsubishi Evo and I did end up dropping back. I've got to be careful with the guy behind me here um, and the Audi's actually got a half second penalty because after that incident I do believe he got half second for track limits. So unfortunately, after all that battling, um, yeah, <laughs> I've dropped down um, two, three positions, and then he's dropped a position, and he's also got a half second penalty. So uh, yeah, that happens at the time. Anyways, going through this corner here, you can see there's a little bit of contact with him and the Lexus, and the Lexus destroys the Audi, <laughs> absolutely yeets him um, into Gran Turismo 7, because it's so far away, and how badly he got yeeted there, there's no coming back from that, mate. He's gone. Anyways, I'll see you in GT7, buddy. So. Across the line here, I do a 
okay? And another, you know, just look at the lap times on the right-hand side, guys. I did it for like 10 laps consistently, just pumping in laps after laps after laps. I felt like my consistency was unbelievable. But the guy ahead of me in the Porsche, I don't know what it is. I don't know if the tire wear was better or whatever. Maybe it was just a quicker guy, quicker driver, but there was nothing I could do. Anyways, a guy up front goes into pits, so that puts us up to P5. And a few laps later, someone else goes into pits, now up to P4. Now, as we go across the corkscrew here, up and over, uh, you can see a yellow flag. And remember the guy I told you about earlier in the race, moaning about there's only 269 points? Well, he's at the side of the road now. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure if there was a coming together or he just wiped himself out, but I told you he was going to regret saying there's only 269 points because your boy's not even going to be able to get those. He's wiped out so badly. Anyways, let's give the head to lap 18 now. Uh, we've come in for our pit stop. Now, there was a lot of people that came in earlier than I did, but the soft tyres on the Evo felt like they were going, and my strategy was, as soon as I feel like the tyres were going to drop out the 121 window, that's when I was going to pit. So you can see on lap 17, I did a 121.919. So I knew I was coming near the end of my life on those medium tyres. So I come out the pits, I'm in P6, uh, there's two guys in front of me, I'm chasing down Wi-Fi password here, but then he actually goes in the pits quite surprisingly. I wasn't expecting that. So he goes in the pits. That puts us up to P5. And I just need to chase the Frenchman now. Now, he does have the fastest lap. But I was catching him, as you can see here. But for some reason, I don't know why. I just lost the rear end of the Evo. The only real mistake I've made this whole race. 25 laps make one mistake. And it just kind of killed my race there and then, unfortunately. And that was it, boys and girls. That was it. So I crossed the line. Uh, finished P5. A really, really good result, I think, for a top split race. It wasn't top, top, but, you know, to be in a lobby full of A-plus SS-rated drivers and qualify 7th in the Evo and then go up two positions as well. It was a flawless race, guys, and it, I generally think it's one of my best performances um, on this game just because it was so consistent. You know, 10-plus laps in the 121s. Like I say, I was really, really proud of that. And we got 224 points as well, which is going to do us absolute ones. As you can see as well, guys, we are still first for Mitsubishi and that is the aim but there you go guys really really hope you enjoyed that if you did please leave a like subscribe if you are new we're trying to hit 10k by Christmas and I'll uh, I'll catch you for the next one take care ta-da